All right, welcome back. So in my last video, I showed how to create an alert with an action. Um, and then the prior one, I also did a, just basically a simple alert, which you've seen everywhere. In this video though, I'm gonna show you how to act, add a text field to the alert to have the user enter some information. So let's go ahead and set this up. Um, so let's go ahead and drag, uh, create an action here. So insert an action for a button. Let's uh, do show alert with text field. Type the UI button and connect. Okay, so the first thing, of course, we have to uh, create an instance of alert controller. Have that equal to UI alert controller. With title and message and preferred style. So with this one, we're going to say uh, something to the effect of uh, testing text field. The message is going to be enter a new title for the label. And the preferred style is just going to be alert. Okay, so just really quickly, um, I in my first video of how to set up a simple or I introduced um, how my setup, but I'm going to go over it one more time just in case you didn't watch that video. So basically what I did is I brought in UI text field delegate for my text field here. I also create an outlet for my text field as well as an outlet for my label. Um, and then uh, test text field delegate equal to self so that everything is set up. So just make sure you do that um, because in this one, I'm going to assign some information to the label here, but in my, but I'm also probably gonna do one for the text field here. So just make sure you have that <laughs> available and ready to go so that we can just get right into it. Okay, back to creating the alert. So let's go ahead and add a text field to the alert. So we do alert um, dot add text field here. And then we have a configuration handler. So we're gonna set that up as well. So um, we need to do curly brackets inside. And let's go ahead and hit return. And it's given us error messages because we have to do the setup. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing I need to do is I need to set this closure up. So let's just do um, an underscore text field and have that equal to UI text field and it's gonna return nothing, so it's gonna be void in. And then we're gonna do some actions to set up our text field. So we're gonna do text field dot placeholder, have that equal to enter something here. And then we're going to set the text field alignment. There's other things you can do here as well as far as the setup. Um, text field actually if we hit the <laughs> the uh, period we can see all the different things that we can do for our text field to set this up so um, just be aware there's a lot of things I just did the placeholder uh, that you can do here to ensure that it's the way you want it you can do text color and alignment I'm going to do um, alignment have that equal to center I guess we could do color too. Why not? And it has to be equal to UI, some UI color. So let's do uh, red. Why not? Nope. 
Let's do blue. Why not? <laughs> okay, so we have our text field set up. Then the next thing we need to do is we um, need to do an action. So we're going to do um, cancel, of course, just in case they want to cancel. Have that equal to UI alert action. Let's do cancel, <laughs> of course. Alert action is cancel. Handler is nil. Then we need to do a save action. So uh, because we want we want to do something with the text uh, that they enter in. So let's do a let save action equal alert UI alert action. Do title, which is save. Actually, let's do a rename. <laughs> The, la the action style is just going to be um, a default. And then we need to do our handler. So again, I'm going to just uh, remove this handler here and just do curly brackets. Then make some space here, make it look pretty. At least my definition of pretty. <laughs> um, we're gonna do a closure again. And we do self text. Let's see here. Self. Um, so we're changing the label. So title label. So copy that here and do text equals alert controller dot text fields and then it's a question mark <laughs> it's optional so we gotta make sure that it does what it's supposed to do dot text and then in case it fills we want to enter in something so I'm just gonna say uh oh um, nothing was entered Now, you probably don't want to add something like this. You probably want to ensure that they add something that's viable or that's correct. So you can add some um, more additional logic here to ensure that the user is actually adding something in. Um, and the reason why I did it this way was to show that in case it doesn't come, that there isn't any text, there is a default here. So that's why I did it this way. But again, you can easily add more logic here just to ensure that they, you know, have entered something, not just, you know, a, a space or some numbers or whatever. You can specify and look at the content that they've added or didn't add and do whatever you need to do accordingly. <laughs> All right, so there we go. I've entered that in. Um, so now let's add our actions to the alert controller. So alert controller dot add action. We'll add our cancel action and then our save action. And then we got to present. So we do self present our alert controller animated true completion nil. Okay. So uh, build and run. All right, let's give it a try. So we, oh, we get our alert, testing text field, enter a new title for the label. Say, uh, this is awesome. And you see um, the text is centered, it is blue. And let's go ahead and rename. And there we go. Our label has been renamed to this is awesome. I only created one text field. Um, and this text field uh, changed the 
uh, field of uh, the the actual label here in our U our view controller. So um, this is the uh, the first one. So text field to change label. And so then I'm going to actually add another text field to change the text field on our view controller. So um, let's do a text field to change VC text field value. Okay, so this is going to be a little interesting, but um, not too much. So, <laughs> so again, we had to specify and set up our text fields properties. So basically all I'm going to do is copy and repeat the code here. And again, um, I'm going to make this red so you can tell the difference between the two. Uh, and then um, let's be a little bit more clear about what this text field does. Um, so change text field value. And then this one is going to uh, change label value. Okay, so I have two. Um, and then we have to add, well actually we've already added it. So uh, in our save action here, um, when I brought in alert controller text fields first, if um, I hovered over um, var text fields, you notice that it is an array. It, all the text fields come in as an array for the alert controller. So that's the reason why I did first. Um, basically, it's the first element of this collection, and there's only one. So that's why I did first. But now that we have two, we got to specify, hey, there's another one there. So um, one thing we can do is just do um, a zero. So that it will indicate that it's zero or there. Let's remove the <laughs> period so we get rid of that error message. Um, and now we can also do the second one, which will be one. So let's go ahead and um, add that. So self dot, uh, what's the name of our text field up there? Test text field. So I'm going to copy that. Um, the text equals, and we're just going to copy this here it's really similar and just add a one all right now everything should work <laughs> hopefully <laughs> so let's go ahead and build and run all right so now we have two text fields so we're going to change the label Say my new awesome label and uh, geez, that was fun. All right, and if we rename, we can see I changed the label as well as the text field here. If you notice, I can go in here <laughs> into the text field and add more if I wanted to, um, but you don't have to. But I'm just showing you that you can add more than one text field to your alert and to kind of give you an idea of why I added first it was because um, the text fields come in as an array of text fields. All right. <laughs> so if this video has helped you at all, you know, just give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to um, get notification of when I add new videos, you have to hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you want to support my work and you hate ads as much as I do, um, definitely become a patron over at patreon.com. All right, friends, keep calm and code on.